Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Give channel. In this video, we are going to see about API automation with Cypress. Okay, so in the previous videos, we have seen UI automation uh, with Cypress, like how to run, uh, like how to launch the browser, and how to interact with the element. But now, how to use the same Cypress for the API automation testing? Okay, it's like same project structure which we used for a uh, uh, UI automation. So here is my sample code, like uh, last tutorial code here. I have already opened the Cypress uh, UI. In the same same integration, I am going to create a new folder called API test. And inside that, I am going to create a new file called uh, user manage. So before that, I will tell you which API we are going to use it for a uh, automation. So there is res there is a req res there is one folder i saw sorry okay the first one req and res okay here there are lots of api lots of get api and post port delete api okay these are all based on the users for, for example, uh, create user, list user, update, uh, for example, foot update user and then delete user. So out of all this, we will take a four API, which will, which will be like get one, post, put and delete. Okay. Let's go to editor and uh, have created user manage API dot JS. Okay. Here, just write. Uh, context api automation this is a suit name actually and inside that i'm going to write one uh, test that is it uh, i'm going to write get list user so for example if you are writing a test for a ui automation you will write cy dot visit like cy dot visit right so you will enter the url so it will go to uh, you are like it will go to that url from the browser but for api you have to use request okay after that which method you are going to uh, test like what is the method of api get method comma and your endpoint just go to the page right click on just click on this and right click on this link and copy link address and paste it here okay when you are doing this uh, okay it's it's done actually but without any assertion it just uh, trigger the api let me go to UI and click on user manage. It will just launch the browser and it will trigger the API and just shows tick mark pass. That's it. But how to know is this API is really like executed? We got a response or not. When you are running in the postman, you will get a response in the JSON, right? For that, just right click on the browser and go to inspect element like inspect. Just move to console. You will get uh, nothing like this. Then just click on the URL. Here you can see what request you have sent and what response you have got. The body, you can see all the response, all the JSON response. So that API got triggered, but without assertion, whatever automation you are doing, it's not automation only. So because even if it fail, it will, it will just say take mark or maybe if you get 400, it will actually return failure, something like that. Let's see, I will make one change in the URL. Let's see what happened. So it's trying to, uh, what, trying to reach the server. I think it does not found, maybe after some timeout error, it failure, okay. So the ser server itself <laughs> got uh, over like, so just run it again. So Cypress tried to launch, but it didn't pound, it got lost. Okay, so 
now i will try to add the assertion then response i'm i'm going to assert a status code so i just saved it now let me run it again and you can see the assertion message also in the browser so likewise like you can uh, you got 200 so what is why we have to put assertion see uh, simple status code is fine but when you are getting list of user you got a 200 request but if you are not getting uh, just go to inspect element inspect okay I'm used to find the element, so I'm getting inspect element only always. Okay, when you click on it, URL. Okay, so you may not get any uh, data. So uh, now I have added only 200. So you can you have to assert some what what you call uh, some first name, last name, something like that. This also you have to assert. Otherwise, it will be like. Uh, uh, you don't you don't know what will what it will return is there really data or not this is the doubt you will get it uh, so let's see what it returns i'm going to assert some data response dot body dot uh, maybe the path based on the response I can see here uh, inside body I can see data and ID is, is equal to 7 uh, that also I can do or first name also I can do uh, data dot first name the first uh, index 0th index equal so what the what we have michael so after save it will just rerun yes see uh, maybe you may have a doubt is this actually asserting or something is happening inside so let's put something like michael 1 and see is this throwing error yes so we are able to assert also like like this like you can assert for all the api so as of now we have we are running only uh, get user api right so let's run one put api so i will copy the same stuff i will just put sorry post create user and uh, the ui uh, url will change actually so here also you have to change to post so for post you have to pass uh, if you see here let me create user create user where it is okay so, sorry so this json data also you have to pass it right so let me go here what users equal to this okay this user object will pass it here post url just api slash user i just confirm once again see users then you have to put the body body of content then whatever response you are getting here it will change actually so as of now we'll command this and just see what happens for the create user okay so for create actually is 201 and expecting 200 so let's just change this to 201 and uh, like maybe we can see the response also what response we are getting uh, in the body we are getting name so whatever name you give right that one will take it here so here we can do assertion different way just uncommand uh, like body and name which is equal to in the user object okay so whatever is that that name only it should return after create user dot name likewise you can create a from uh, from the see, see this response body job i'm actually getting it from here 
so this is the response you will get response this is the whole body and name and job so whatever name you will give that will return here job also so that is the path i am writing here response body name is it should be user dot name it's like i will give dharma test so even if you change it dynamically it should no need to out code here so that will be fetch automatically see expected to equal dharma see let's uh, here i have to change it to job now if you see both will be pass and in the response also you can see here dharma test okay so assertion also we have added two three assertions in here also we added two assertions done likewise i can add one more api for uh, update let let me just write update user it uh, sorry uh, cy dot request inside i will use put method now what we have to use like the url will be put okay the user id 2 okay that one we are going to update and uh, so same here also we have to use user data in the body of content so that what we'll do we'll use so like maybe take a qa youtube something like that i'm going to give here i will add user one uh, once we get the response expect a response dot so always status code is common will verify 200 and uh, expect response dot body dot if you see the sample response what you will get same name job you will get it right so likewise you can verify name also something like name job uh, maybe it is similar to this only update also you will get a same response i will just add it here but user one not okay once you save i think it will start run again all three are pass take you give it youtube okay the final one uh, for this tutorial is like a delete api delete user cy dot request so which is delete method and i will just go here one delete yeah so i'm going to delete the user id like user 2 that's it after delete uh, you won't get any response you just delete so we can just check the response code okay expect response so status code should be equal so for delete no it should be 4 under plus okay 204 do not four that's it when you run like just say it will run all you will got like get user post user update user like delete user these are the assertion points uh, see uh, once again i'm recalling like if you want to check the response of this go to console and you can see it here just by clicking on it clicking on this if any any uh, api error like api related error you can just see it here only maybe for not for or api is running but here a session fail that also will get to know what is actual what is expected okay everything that's it i think we were able to run get post update delete like put uh, delete so this is just a simple api 
just for showing you guys how can you use Cypress for API automation. This is just a simple API I took it. But if you if you are working on the project like that, JSON payload will be very bigger than this. So currently I have used very smaller one. So for this, if you have a big size payload, how can you accommodate that uh, to pass in the body? That also we can cover in the coming videos. So that how can we utilize uh, fixture and uh, commands and all I already explained in my previous video. Just please check out here one. Uh, what improvises I can do it like everywhere you are we are using uh, API right so this base URL we can uh, make it common so already I have given in the environment variable so if you see the API UR, base URL I have given something else just mention here as a base URL just go to your user manage delete all delete all like wherever you have mentioned the base URL just till api i have given the base url right just users here users dot two so okay if you save it okay oh 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 oh, oh. it's uh it is giving for not okay still it's taking as a yago because we haven't saved it just save it and and run it again <laughs> okay so now you got it we haven't uh, save it that's why we got it like that so you no need to mention whole url here just mention the path that will taking care okay guys thanks for watching my video if you have any doubt or if you're facing any issue please uh, put into comments and uh, just wait for next videos like how can we utilize fixture and how can we create a page object uh, framework so these are all my future videos with cypress just put your uh, like thought also if you want any specific video with cypress please put into comments i can make it and uh, publish thanks for watching again please subscribe my channel